Why does Indian whiskey just smell so good? I don't know. I don't know. It tastes delicious too. It's the so. Best. Welcome to the channel, bringing a real world perspective to the real world whiskey consumer. I'm Josh. And I'm Erin. Typically, these are our Wild Card Wednesday videos where we draw a sample at random from our Wild Card sample pool and taste it totally blind. Yep. However, this is not blind. This was a bottle that was sent to us from Indri. This is an Indian single malt whiskey, mm. and this is Indri Trini the Three Wood, which that's what Trini stands for oh. or means in Indian. Try. It's, yeah ex-bourbon, ex-French wine cask, and Pia sherry cask. So we've done enough of these reviews that we think we can be fairly objective on this. Yep. But yeah, always interested in trying Indian whiskey, especially. Yeah. It's a category that has become very near and dear to our hearts. Yep. We are huge fans of Rampur, double cask. We are mega fans of Amrut. Mm -hmm. They can do no wrong in our eyes. Yum. So when we hear Indian whiskey, our eyebrows perk up a little bit. Let's see what we're working with on the nose of this one. Ooh, it smells like a juicy piece of fruit, which I love. Yeah. That, but I think the bourbon barrel influence is fairly noticeable here. Oh. Like it's coming through with a little bit of vanilla, a little bit of barrel spice on the nose, in addition to all the fruity elements. Yeah, it's kind of jumping out of the glass. It's, See, I can't tell on the nose. Yeah, it does smell juicy though. It literally smells mm. like a piece of fruit that like you're pear, holding. and pear peach combo. And you're squeezing it a little tight, so yeah. some of the juices are kind of coming yeah. out. It smells quite pleasant on the nose. One of the things about Indian whiskey is that it's a very hot climate, so things age quickly. Mm -hmm. So they don't usually put age statements on their bottles. This is no exception. Okay. So that's something to keep in mind. However, of all the Indian whiskey we've tried, we've never tasted any that tasted young or rapid aged right, or anything like that. Right, we couldn't like tell that, that it, you know, if it was young, we couldn't tell it. Yeah, let's get into the palate here. Let's do it. it. Smells great. Oh, wow. It has that classic single malt taste, but it's less fruity on the palate than it smells. Mm -hmm. I would say the nose had me expecting big time delivery of flavor. Mm -hmm. And this is 46% ABV. There's yeah, flavor 46% there. 46% ABV. It's, it's kind of concentrated at the beginning and the mid, and then mm -hmm. it does taper off. Yeah. Um, I'm kind of getting like a floral note on the taste. What kind of floral? Like honeysuckle. So a sweet floral. Okay. Yeah. I get honey and honeysuckle on mm -hmm. a lot of single malts. So yeah, let's get another sip. I'm definitely getting some more oak on the second sip, mm -hmm. which that's common yeah. for me to yeah. get oak on the second sip for whatever reason. And I got a lot of oak on the first sip as well. I didn't, I but on the second sip I did. I expected a little bit more barrel spice and actually I am getting a faint barrel spice that just kind of lingers mm -hmm. around on the back of the palate mm -hmm. on the finish. But really the tail of this pour to me is big time fruit on the nose with that little bit of bourbon barrel influence. Mm -hmm kind of accompanying it and then they kind of switch places on the palate a little yeah. bit like it becomes more bourbon barrel forward it's got a heavy vanilla note to me like i'm getting a lot of vanilla a lot of honeysuckle i'm getting honeysuckle that's yeah. like the predominant flavor for me yeah okay one more sip and then one let's more. get some ratings together right. okay i'm ready man okay so we know for a fact this is about 60 dollars in most markets okay. where it's distributed where are you at on this? I'm giving it a thumbs up. I think it's a solid pour. I think it may not be my favorite in the lineup of the Indian mm -hmm. single malt that we've had, but it's solid in the middle. Like, I think it's great. I think it's worth the money. Yep. Um, thumbs up. I would agree. Thumbs up. I would say that I do like Amroot Fusion more than this, and I think that's about 70 or $80. Okay. However, the problem, actually, no, I just checked. It's I checked this morning actually because oh, you wanted I, to get some? I, well, I remember seeing it in Chicago and it was $70. Here it's $90. Oh. And Rampour double cask okay. is $90 here okay. as well. So this is coming in like a good $30 cheaper than that. Yeah. So if you want an introduction to Indian whiskey. Oh yeah, this would be great. This is bringing in 46% mm -hmm. ABV and it's bringing in a lot of flavor. Yeah. If, if you've never tried Indian single malt whiskey, this would be a really good one to try because you get those classic Indian single malt flavors mm -hmm. that you get with all the Indian single malts that I've had, yeah. but you're not spending as much as $80, $90. $60 is probably a little bit easier to part with yeah. than $90. The truth be told, I would like to have a bottle of this, plus a bottle of the Rampour yeah. Double Cask. let's be honest. Plus a bottle of Amrit Fusion, plus a bottle of Amrit Intermediate I mean, Sherry and Porta Nova. I mean, I told all you. All the Indian whiskey, just I give it to I told you, us. I think I might be a, a single Indian single malt girl. And I will say one th thing of note, I'll say my only ding on this. What? For the price point or any price point, this bottle is extraordinarily tall. Like 
it maybe doesn't show fully on camera, but this will make something like an E.H. Taylor. Oh, is it taller than oh, that? Oh, it's taller than that. So this is a bottle that if you have shelves and you think you're going to get it and put it on the shelf, it ain't going to fit. Oh, that's good to know. <laughs> this is a tall, tall boy. So, and it comes in a tube too, which is even taller than that. I mean, that's nice but, packaging. Yeah. Oh, hey, I really got, appreciate a good packaging. It got 94 points in Whiskey Advocate 2022. Oh, top cool. 20 whiskeys of the world. So, cool. Yeah. Good for it. I like it. Yeah. Very cool. I will enjoy drinking this bottle. So, yeah. thank you, Indri, for sending it to us. We yep. really appreciate it. And down in the video description below, we'll put a link to the website, and you can check out the story behind it. That's It's quite good, but we focus really on the taste over here. Mm -hmm. But it's worth checking out if anything we've said sounds interesting to you. Yeah. If you like fruity juicy real fruit flavors not super sweet fruit though it's like right. good solid fruit. Te yeah tempered sweetness <laughs> on the palate balance out with that yeah. bourbon barrel i'm honestly like a lot of people who watch our channel are more interested in bourbons in her eyes mm -hmm. and this feels like the type of single malt that would be more approachable specifically for a bourbon drinker okay because of the heavy bourbon cask influence and the vanilla notes that you're getting out might of this might be worth checking out so yeah really cool injury thank you if you like the style of content like it and yeah. if you like blind reviews which is what we normally do here make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell down there if you want to join us for once a month live streams yep They'll let you know when we're going live. Join us for a report. We'd love to have you. Absolutely. That's it for today. Be good to each other. And until next time, cheers. cheers.